Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So uh, we have, this is our first single cut beer to try. This is Billy Full Stack, 8.2%, 137 IBUs. So it's not gonna be very bitter at all, no, I don't think. Um, not at all. It's gonna be really mild. This one comes courtesy of Nathan. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Nathan. It's gonna be a palate wrecker. That's uh, okay. We're done, with <laughs> we're done with IPAs after this. Yeah, we're going to stouts after this. It'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be okay. Don't all worry right. about us. Let's see what we got. Just like that's really opaque. It's just like a yeah, orange, yeah, color. Uh, nice little white, like white head. Yeah, okay. it's holding a little bit there. All right, let's oh, do yeah. it. Crappy aroma. I just want to get into it. I know, me too. Oh I mean, yeah, that is. Is this mosaic? I mean, that's so I sweet, that. fruity. Definitely get that tropical sweet fruit. tropical pineapple, like a berry almost. Yes, stone fruit. Get a little bit of herbalness to it as well. Mm. Mm. It smells wonderful. Big aroma. Mm. That is really big. Yeah, it smells wonderful. Just shows you that you know hazy beers are better. Hazy beers are better. <laughs> Cheers. 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 <laughs> little joke we have going tonight. Oh yeah. That's, that's awesome. That's wonderful. I get that yeah. big pineapple sweetness. Yeah, I get a little more sweet, more than the the tangy tart tropical fruit. Oh yeah, sweet first, absolutely. and then I get you know some tart maybe on the back end. But it's not like oh it's, man, it's not citra. This has to be no. rosé. Yeah, it's I get like sweet pineapple, sweet mango. Um, I'm not getting much. It's a little bit of onion hint that I got there on the aroma. I'm not getting much of the flavor of that at all. Maybe just a tad of it. And then I get. 130 something IBUs. Yeah, but because you know, <laughs> I mean, it's there. But because of that hundred, because of the that sweet tropical goodness, it's not it a palate record. No, not at all. I don't it, think it so is either. Bitter. Um, I would, it is. I it's there, never guessed, but I would have never guessed it's even over 100. Exactly. Exactly. I would have put it right there in that 90 range with the how it goes so well with that sweet tropical fruity goodness. Mm. That is really good. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's mostly sweet tropical fruit. I don't know if that's because of the sweet malt or because of just the hops they use, but that was really yeah, good. Yeah, I, I like the mosaic idea in this one. I, I, I do get kind of that blueberry. It might just be because you planted that idea, but... Uh, it might have been. I don't know. I don't get blueberries. I know you're supposed to. I've never gotten that out of mosaic, but... We're going to set a plate of blueberries down we one are. time. And do but then a, I'll get mosaic. And sure. get a big double mosaic, double IPA. We should do that. Yeah. Or okay. just do some mosaic tea. That would be good. Yeah. So I've still, I've got a bunch of hops we need to do hop yeah. teas for, but anyway, yeah. this is no, really this is good. really good. Thanks, um, yes, thank you, Nathan. I, I gave it a four or five last time. I'm going to go with a four or five this time as well. I was going to give it a four or five. Too. This is it's, wonderful. This is good. I really like it a lot. I, I wish it was just a little less bitter. That would be more my cup of tea. But yeah. um, I kind of like. I mean, you don't get that many citrusy tropical beers that are this bitter. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to have, that's refreshing to have. And we were just talking, so I had never heard of Single Cut Beer Smiths. And there are so many great breweries popping up here. And I don't know how old, they maybe have been around a while. You can get a great beer almost any, you know, like they're just, there there are so many just popping up that you mm -hmm. should be able to find something great, new, unique that you've never had before. It's so fun to get to try. A brew you never heard of, and I'll tell you the story I had. I brought over, and you guys probably heard of King Sue, so I brought over a King Sue to share with Nathan the first time I had this, and this one needed to warm up a little bit, and so we had them side by side while this was warming up, and it held its own. I mean, they're both. I mean, you know, we wow. love King Sue. It's a great beer if you guys have had it. I mean, it's one of those must try, and this held its own against it, just to give a comparison of like wow, the, great. the caliber beer that this can this this is holding up to, and. Second time around, just as good. I love it, and uh, it's such a treat. Well, it makes you wonder if some people rate based on who produces, because, yeah. I mean, if you had this against King Sue and it held up, I mean, King Sue gets pretty good numbers, and I think this gets like in the 4-1 range, but I would definitely rate oh, yeah. it higher because I, I think it's better. I, I think it's better than a 4-1. Yeah, I, mean, I do. I do. This I is agree. really good. It's really good. It's uh, such a treat. Anything else? Mm -mm. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.